So who knows what we're doing this afternoon? Has anybody got an idea? You're asking us questions about what we think about what the adults think. That is exactly right, I think. But it sounds a bit complicated. health research that we've made up for the purposes of this project. Are you ready again? One, two, three, breathe in. <gasps> Go! Blow, 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 blow! You're all going to be like a research ethics committee, OK? But specifically thinking about what's important to children and young people. The researchers need to think about the children in this situation because it can really affect these children's benefits and their future. They should work really closely with the doctors so that they know the children more and they have a close relationship. I think it's really important that the study is, is as personal as it can be. They should be told, first of all, what could go wrong. In the consent form, they don't really explain properly kind of how they're going to test the outcomes of it and how often they're going to have to do that. How would you like to be told then what it's about? Maybe shown something that explains it, so people show you a video or okay. Some of the language on this sheet, lots of children, would, that would go straight over their heads. They'd need a conversation with the doctor of what it's about. Personally, if my parents told me that I wasn't allowed to take part in the trial, I think I would listen to them. I'd like to have my, my own say, but my parents help me out with it and they have to think about the impact on the family as well, what they're doing. Maybe in the future we'll be able to help to cure asthma and stop asthma attacks. But if you, they tell you, oh, you're going to have loads of side effects or, and stuff like that, you're probably not going to really want to do it. It's kind of taking away your freedom, because if you have to like always do tests, you won't have much time to do what you actually want to in your normal life. It could be um, quite invasive. They have to continually answer questions about their life. You might want to know who's going to be looking at all of this, because it might be like universities, or it could be like just people you know, and you, that might affect whether you want to do it or not. It's good if you know what's actually happening, like to the results. It's kind of a bit of a bribe. The children might be, I don't know, they could be swayed into thinking one certain thing if they were getting a treat out of it. I don't think you should get money at all. It's helping other children finding different cures. You are risking your life. It's like yeah, well, you, you, get choose. Choice, you, get, you, yeah. get, you get to choose if you want to do that. And you don't get paid for being a good person. I actually think, yeah, I'd do it if I had asthma. I would, I wouldn't do it for like, you know, any money, any vouchers. It's helping myself, I might find a cure, but it's actually helping other people with bad asthma. It could change the world. Thank you.